I don't uh I don't know if I was if it was nervousness or anxiousness or what it was. That that could also be the same thing. Uh, but like leading into this game, like all day today, um like coming walking out onto the court, like and I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. Um just because like I recognize and, and you guys may not may not realize this, you know, because of how the game was, but like um that's a good team, it's a good program, right? Hightower's a little banged up, so he's not a hundred percent strength, but he's a first team all league guy and I think they lost nine games last year. Um might have lost two or three in conference, one in the conference tournament, right? So they lost five games, six games in the, in the nine conference also last year. And then they're on the verge of going to the NCAA tournament, right? We're going to look up in March, and that team's got 23, 24 wins to its belt. Um, and that's not by accident. Like, Mark Prosser is a good coach. They run good stuff. They really defend. They play hard. Um, so credit to them. Um, I think the anxiousest part was I wanted us to play well. I really wanted us to play well because I've seen us play well in practice. I've seen what we've been able to do in practice, um, and I wanted it to show up tonight, and uh, I'm happy with, for the most part, I'm happy with how we play. Mike, I think a lot of people focus on the threes, but you set a, a really good tone early by, by turning them over, which wasn't necessarily a hallmark for you last year. Um, you end up with... 28 points off turnovers. How important is that in this game and for when you go smaller this year to be able to get those points in transition? Yeah, it's, you know, we're not, we're never going to be a team. Like, we're not pressing. We're not in passing lanes. We're not overdoing it. Like, we just want to be solid and disciplined and in our spots. Um, and that's when good things happen for you, right? That's when you get deflections, when you're in the right spot. Um, you know, when you're playing with long arms, you're active. Um, you know, I thought some of those turnovers really helped us. And I think the thing that that really helps us, we only got, you know, tonight we played two guys um, that if they get a rebound or a turnover, like they have to outlet it. Everybody else is pushing it. Everybody else is bringing it. And then the other guys are running. They're not like waiting around to see, you know, hey, I need to come and get the ball. Like, it's, no, we're running, we're pushing, we're trying to get layups, we're trying to get our feet set so we can keep swinging and get open threes. And, like, you can't play against a set defense all every game, every minute of every game, right? We had to watch that last year. That's what we had to do. Um, but us being able to force more turnovers by just, just being disciplined, just being solid, I think helps us offensively. Michael, we saw uh, Jalen take a lot more sort of efficient looks tonight, more closer to the rim, more from beyond the arc. How much of that is an emphasis for him to sort of eliminate some of the, the mid-range shots, and how much is just kind of the way the offense takes shape around him? Yeah, I, you know, the one thing I don't – I tell these guys, I never want them looking over their shoulders worried about what kind of shot it is, right? There's probably like one shot that, you know, I was like, come on, pick. Like, we can get a better one than that. But for the most part, he's going to – he's going to take the right shots for our team. Like, I like having the ball in his hands. And, you know, he's going he's gonna to make good things happen for us. Um, so whether it's, you know, at the rim, whether it's, you know, mid-rangers, other things. Like, you know, we, we're not the Houston Rockets where it's like all layups and all threes. Like, we're going to take some mid-range shots. But, you know, they got to be good ones. They can't be early clock pull-up mid-range shots because um, we can get those at any point in time. So uh, we want to spread the court. We want to get threes, and now people are running at us. Now we can attack the rim. And, and you know, Pick does a good job of, you know, getting to the basket by posting, getting to the basket by driving it. Um, but also he's confident in his shot. He's really worked. He's, he's gotten in the gym and really worked um, on his shot. Uh, so he's confident. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. Hey, Micah. Uh, Miles, I played a lot of uh, basketball for you. Um, finished with, I believe, 12 points in 22 minutes today. After um, watching him go through what he did last year with the injuries and stuff, um, what does it mean to see him contribute? And, you know, what are your hopes for him this season? He was, um, <clears throat> you know, we named, we named captains, I think it was last week. And, like, I'm just proud of him for 
Um, he really wanted to be a captain. <laughs> he really wanted to be a captain. Um, but he had to earn it. And I, and I made him earn it. Um, but he did. He did everything he was supposed to do to earn it. He's been a he's been a great mentor for our younger players, for our five freshmen. Um, he's a he's a blender where he can you know talk to our older guys and they respect what he's done. Um, you know he does the right things. He's confident, like he he can step up and make good shots, but he's also tough and allows us to to give people a different look at, at, at times offensively and defensively. So. Um, we need him to stay right where he's at, continue to do what he's doing. I think, you know, the more discipline he has, you know, it's an old Coach Painter line, like the, the more discipline you have, the more fun you can have. And I think that's, you know, that's what we need from Miles. And, um, you know, I thought he was good when he in, in his opportunities, in his moments, uh, offensively and defensively tonight. Uh, Mike, uh, Andrew Funk had 22 points in Penn State debut. Uh, what did you make of his performance? And is this kind of, with him not being an opposing defense's main focus, is this kind of what you know we can see more of from him this season? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, he, he's a basketball player. He's he's just really smart. Like he can really shoot. Like that's a that's a bonus. But like. Um, he can also, you know, he can drive the basketball. I think he had a drive in the first half where he got to the rim. He had a transition bucket. Like, you know, he can do more than just shoot. Um, but, like, you know, like I said, he, you know, he, he moves up the scouting report. He's not number one, right? He took a lot of tough shots at Bucknell, a lot of tough shots um, because they needed him to, right? We don't need him to take tough shots. He took, took 12. <laughs> it wasn't like he shot 18 times. He took 12 shots. Scored 22 points uh, because, like, people are worried about Jalen Pickett, right? You got to be worried about Seth Lundy. You have to be worried about you know, Cam Winter scored 1,600 points in his career. You got to be worried about him. Um, like, there's other guys out there that now, like, you put all your focus on him, then Cam's going to have a big day or, or Seth is going to have a big day, all right? Like, um, he's able to, to kind of hide in the shadows a little bit. But he does – he does great things. Like he executes sets. Um, he gets open. He finds threes in transition. Our our guys do a great job of finding him in transition, um, and it just it just opens the court up for everything. Hey, coach. Last time we spoke, you spoke about being nervous that you had all your bases covered before this season. Fast forward to this game. Do you think what you wanted to accomplish in the off season translated well onto the court? I I think so. Um, I still want us to be better defensively. Uh, 11 threes is too much. It's too many. Like early in the year last year, we gave up a bunch of threes, right? We got to clean that up in terms of the threes that they that they got or the threes that they're making, right? We can't we can't give up threes when guys don't do anything when they're not running actions to get a three, right? When they just come off, swing it, swing it, and a guy shoots a three in your face, right? Like. Don't let Corey Hightower shoot threes, right? Like, make him bounce it. Make him put it on the floor. You know, he made a couple early in the, in the first half. Like, those are ones we have to take away. 11's too many. 11's too many. So, we got to clean that up. We got to be better. Um, that hurt us early in the, in the year last year until we could get it corrected. So, we'll watch it and, and try and get better at it. But there were, you know. There were there were things I thought they would test us on the glass, and I thought our guys did a good job of boxing out and and holding them to, to one shot. Um, you know, there's some defensive game plan stuff. You know, it it helps to have old guys. We got old guys, right? Like they were bored. They were bored the last few days of practice because we just keep going over and over and over. Um, or they just came out and executed. But that's a you know that's that's what happens when you start. Three fifth-year seniors, a regular, a fourth-year senior, and a junior. They've played a lot of basketball. They've seen a lot of basketball. Um, so nothing really surprises them. They weren't. I don't think they were nervous. They were a little bit nervous to start the game, but I was probably more nervous than they were. Hey, coach. Uh, both Pickett and Fung finished in the 30s in their plus-minus. How do you expect the offense to perform whenever Pickett and Funk both have to take a break for a little bit? I better not take them out at the same time. <laughs> Might be a mistake on my part, right? Uh, you know, we, we try and keep one or the other on the on the court. Um, I thought Cam did a good job attacking when he was in, when Pickett was out. Uh, we're still finding, like, that's one thing that it'll take us a few games to get to the right rhythm 
of who who plays better with who, who needs to be in with who. Um, when certain guys are in, like what do we kind of go to? All right, that's you know that that's my job that I'll continue to try and work at and be better as these games go um, to see. And um, I think Cam still has another like you know nine points, three rebounds, three assists. I think he can still play better. Uh, I thought he get, did good things in, in different stretches, but um, you know I think he still has a little more a little more to him that now we can open up some different things when he's in, when Pickett's out, uh, so we can focus on him a little bit more with the ball in his hands. Thank you, Thank you guys.